Hello everyone, VJZ Fleet back with another deck review. Today we are looking at the Winterberry deck, which is designed by Tumas Pinson and surprisingly not available through his own website, Gemini Decks, but it was designed by him anyways. It was a Kickstarter project, it did not succeed, and got magic, I guess, bought it up and produced it. You can get it from their website, gotmagic.com, which is where I got it. The front of the box is nice silver foil. It says Winterberry playing cards. You see some woods in there, some forest. This is inspired by Nordic winters, which are probably very similar to our winters here. At least my winter. Um, I have the front of the box. Beautiful silver foil. It's a smooth, or I should say soft touch tuck case. It says Winterberry playing cards on the one side. You see some trees, pine trees, I guess. And the other side, the same thing. Top. Uh, just a bunch of leaves. I think it says or has something underneath the seal, but I can't tell. And then the bottom, it got the God Mag God Magic logo. I will put a link in the description to their site. There's 2,500 produced. It is produced and distributed by God Magic, designed by Tumas Pinston, and just some trademark stuff. It's made by USBC, by the way. And the back, you see the back design again, more beautiful silver foil. Lots of uh, forestry and trees. And there is a stamp type seal in silver foil. It says Winterberry on it and looks pretty cool. The tuck case, by the way, is done by Clove Street Press, which does all the 311 and other and the uh, Dan and Dave decks, basically. It says Winterberry playing cards, California on the flap. Why California? I don't know. I mean... It has nothing to do with California, so why the hell does it say California? I know that's not where the designer is from. I'm pretty sure that's not where Got Magic is from. Maybe they are, I'm not sure. Some silver foil leaves on these flaps as well. And that's it for the tuckets. The cards. You get a blank card. Here's your back design. It's pretty nice. If I had some silver metallic inks, it might have been a little bit nicer. Uh, just a lot of trees and leaves and forests. I think it, and I guess a green color wouldn't work because it's winter, so obviously it's got to be icy and kind of black and white. You do get a double bagger as well. The Jokers, it says Joker and it's a pine tree. And this one, it looks like an apple tree. You see apples on there. Some kind of a fruit tree anyways. The aces are pretty interesting. There's the aces page. It says Winterberry. You see all sorts of tree elements within them and around them and on top of them. The ace of hearts. <laughs> There's also a dot in the index, which is kind of unique. Yeah, the ace of hearts is half. The ace of clubs, it looks like you're looking within a tree. It looks like it's been sliced. Kind of interesting. And the ace of diamonds is also half. And then we get to the court cards, they're pretty interesting. They got big bodies, they got well, woods and forests and stuff going on within them. Pretty interesting though. Completely custom. It's interesting as well that they got the pips on the opposite side on some of them. Actually. Yeah. Just some of them, as you can see. With real, no real rhyme or reason to just ditch something like that. And then the number cards, they all got a custom pip with three elements within them. Tens are weird, some of them anyways, you'll see what I mean. Some of the cards are weird, like this is seven of spades. You see this is how you're supposed to, this will be the top because of the trees. Look at the seven of hearts. It's the opposite way. <laughs> like, I don't know why they would lay them out opposite from one another. And then, the, again, the Seven of Clubs is like that. Seven of Diamonds is like that. It's just a little bit weird, I think. And the Tens as well. You saw the Ten of Hearts. It's like that. The pips in the center kind of squashed together. Squeezed together. Ten of Spades. More traditional looking. And then the Ten of Diamonds again. When I first saw this, I, I saw I, I saw a nine of diamonds personally because that's what it looked like from a distance. It looks like a nine of diamonds <laughs> until I realized it was a ten. So I mean, 
just a, a little bit odd in some of the things they did. I don't know if, what the rationale was, what the reasoning, but I, I, outside of that, it's a pretty cool deck. One of the nicer decks that I've seen from Team Oz, Pinston, who most of his decks are very casino-like and simple and standard. This one is completely custom. A little bit wacky <laughs> with the pips, but completely custom. And this is on a crust B stock. I think most of his decks are. It's a nice stomping finish. And handles pretty good. Overall, I would probably say pips notwithstanding, probably 9 out of 10. It's a pretty good solid deck. Available from Got Magic. And I'm sure it'll be available at other sites in the near future. <clears throat> and I should point out a special thanks to Got Magic for allowing backers of the project like myself to get in on uh, to get on it early um, before they made it public. And that's how I was able to get this one. Um, but that is that. I think it's a pretty cool deck. Like I said, 9 out of 10, I would say. Pretty nice. Pretty interesting. Handles pretty good. And that's that. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this one. Don't forget, special thanks to my sponsor, Murphy's Magic. I'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching.